Okay, so I'm going to try and make this as easy as possible, but some of these courses are very, very random with how it'll drop you. So I'm going to try and lower the randomness as much as possible. For your first shot, you want to aim about where I'm aiming and do three and a half bars of power. I should drop this down here pretty gently. There you go. And then we're going to do one and a half. Nah. Yeah, one and a half bars of power. Just to get it over. It shouldn't sink. Then we're going to play safe. Uh, I would say just put it over towards the back. So you've got a relatively decently straight shot wherever it goes. And then we're going to just plunk you down. Brings you down for an easy half... Uh, half bar shot that will get your power on hole one because we're playing safe okay for hole two we're going to go about 2.8 2.8 2.85 power and you want to shoot it straight down the middle when the vertical uh, when the flat side of one of the blades in front of you is completely vertical That'll get you a hole in one, or it'll bounce over the hole and get you ready for a birdie. Okay, hole three. Very, very simple. Aim at the vertical line that we're aiming at. And you want to go 3.8 bars. The ball should hop up about there. You want to aim for the middle of the next row of squares and you want to do two square, uh, two bars when this moving thing in front of us gets out of the way. Guaranteed eagle. For hole number four, you're going to move the camera and you want to aim it so that the yellow arrow that we're moving is right in front and just aiming at that corner of that little brown ramp marker. You want to do 1.4 bars of energy, about that, and it should go like this. It leaves us somewhere relatively safe. Now, I would go about one and a tiny bit here, into the hole for an eagle. Okay, so for hole five, we're going to go to the very right edge of the left segment of the ramp. And we're going to go uh, a smidge at two bars. And it should end up like this. And then we're going to do just over two bars this time. And we're going to aim straight up the ramp. We want to drop in a position kind of in the middle. And do not uh, make sure that your arrow is not pointing directly at the metal block at the top of the ramp. Uh, because that will send you back down. There we go. Right, so you want, for the next shot, you want two and a half bars. We're going to aim straight. Try and get it in the middle if you can. There you go, goes up, and you've got an easy shot for birdie. Okay, this one is pretty random. You want to, uh, I would say, go down in this direction, full power. You want to try and avoid all the, uh, all the bits that have uh, grass on them. So, don't forget you can jump in the water. Sometimes you're not very good at it, like me. But sometimes you can get away with it. And the current should take you where you need to go. Eventually. Okay, so when we're finally at this end segment, you want to aim, pretend that the whirlpool is a backboard. So you, because you're going to want to do three bars, it's going to hit the backboard and hopefully back into the flag. Like this. 
Well, I was a little too wide, but no matter. That's still a par. For hole seven, you're going to want three and a half pa uh, bar power. And we're going to aim for that barrel that's just over on the right of the ramp. So we're going to want to be about there. Three and a half bars, straight in the barrel. And with any luck, we'll get a bump off the, bump off the roof, which we do. And it gives us a single straight shot. So once the log has gone past, I would say probably three quarters of a bar to 80% of a bar. There you go, easy eagle on hole seven. Okay, for shot one of hole eight, you may notice I've put a small green marker on the screen uh, just in front of where we're aiming. That is the corner of the light blue square uh, of, of grass that connects to the wooden beam. We want to aim for there. You want to do three and a quarter bars and you want to fire it when the window of the bottom barrel of, of the first barrel is at the bottom like that. Now sometimes you will go off the edge there but I've done a hundred shots and this that is the best line that I can find to give you a the biggest chance of getting onto this platform so do that shot number two you're just going to do two bars and just go straight down the uh, chute um, if from the last shot you ended up a little uh, further away than that just increase the bar by maybe a quarter of a bar so you go up two and a quarter bars Next, you're going to want to do one and, a half, one and a half bars and go along the middle here. You want it to hit the edge and then come back. So, now you're right near it. You want to go full power. And you only want to go up just so it's going to hit the back wall and come back. So, it'll either go in the hole or give you an, 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 easier, an easier straight shot. So, we can just do half a bar just to finish off. And that would have been uh, one, two, three, four, five strokes, I think, for a par five. Okay, shot one of hole nine. This is a very difficult shot, so try and match up exactly. You want exactly this amount of power. I would estimate it's about three bars and 40% in this exact angle. It should bounce up hit the back and then leave you there now we don't have the angle so what we're going to do is just do a very very soft hit just to get us there then we want to do I would say two bars and 50% and we're going to aim about here that brings us up here and this would get you a birdie I know these are very difficult, um, those last two holes are dreadful, but I hope this helps as much as it can.